need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Joe Pooh for IFL TV. We're here at the Bermondsey Boxing Club media workout for Daniel Dubois and Mr. Hamza Shearer is joined by Hamza. How are you, first of all? Yeah, good, man. Yourself? Very well, thank you. Obviously, going into the latter stages of your camp now, a big, big couple of weeks ahead for you over in Poland. First of all, taking the fight, just glad to get the call to be on such a massive stage. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And, for, and against an opponent who is about his business, you know what I mean, undefeated, WSB, Olympics, whatnot. So the pedigree is, is unreal, to be fair. My toughest challenge to date, but one that I'm going to cherish and come through, in, uh, hopefully, in flying colours, man. Definitely, and we'll talk about your opponent. He is undefeated Ukrainian. He's been in the Olympics. He's been in with some of the top amateurs, undefeated as a pro. Yep. Um, do you think... You're going to thrive on this. You're going into the lines. Then, obviously, the Poland-Ukraine connection aligns with the main event. Yes. So you're going. To, you're not going to be popular out there. <laughs> no, no, not at all, man. Not at all. But listen, at the end of the day, as long as as, as they don't all get in the ring and fight for him, I should be all right, man. I should be good. And like I said, it's a challenge that I'm cherishing, man. Like you get fights where you're expected to win. Like my first, last four fights, you're almost expected to win them fights. This is one like, oh, you know what I mean? Can he? Can he? Mix it with it with these lads, and it's my perfect opportunity to show to show what I'm about. Do you feel like you're a bit under pressure then in that sort of respect because he isn't a well-known fighter, but he's high risk. Yeah. So it is one of those high risk, high rewards. But in the long term of your career, it will be beneficial to you. Of course, of course, you can't keep getting away with these cheeky little fights that you just you know you win them and onto the next, onto the next. Keep calling for world titles and hope that you're going to get the call up. This is one where. Like you said, he, he is, he's a serious fighter and, and um, I've prepared to the best of my ability. So l l let's see what happens fighting that. May, may the best man win. You confident it's going to be 2-0 to the UK that yeah, night yeah, yourself right. and then Daniel? <laughs> yeah, and that's what I was saying earlier. Hopefully me and Daniel go over there and upset the apple cart, man. Um, it is what it is, unfortunately. It's, it's the fighting game. We, every man's got to fight for himself in there. And that's, that's all what we're doing. No, um, nothing personal, just business. <laughs> Just see Frank Warren as he left, he made sure he said hello to you. There's obviously a great deal of admiration there from Frank. He's represented you for a very long time now and he sees a lot in you from the very start. But he, I did present to him the question of the Denzel Bentley fight. Um, obviously you can, can't overlook next week. Cool. But Denzel Bentley, is that a fight you do want next year if we can't be made by the end of 2023? Yeah, no, of course, of course. I've got to do everything in my capability to win on August the 26th to ensure that that's still in the pipeline. Um, likewise, he has to do the same as all well whenever, whenever he fights next. But like I said, it's you ask Frank, the main man, and if he says yes, then, then, then so be it. It is what it is. We're both with him. Um, if you ask me, I said yes. If you ask him, he says yes. It's down to our promoter, and I'm sure that fight will definitely come to fruition soon enough. Would you rather that fight? happened for a world title so that big domestic feel or is it a case of it may never happen if it don't happen now no I think I don't see to be fair um, it not happening I don't see it not happening I see it definitely happening whether it be for a British or you, you can look at it three ways British worst case world title eliminator for the, for the thing or if one of us wins a world title and defends it against each other it just makes the fight ten times bigger than what it is so yeah, man, there's, there's loads of avenues we can go down and it, it, it'll be a good one, when it, like I said, when it does come to fruition. Denzel gained a great deal when he took that defeat to Janibek. Is it your mission now to go out and make a statement in Poland and kind of get his attention, say, look, I'm here, I'm with you, and let's get it on? Yeah, no, of course, of course. The thing, even if I didn't, to be fair, we're still with the same promoter. Yeah. And the, the, the UK um, uh, fan base are calling for it. I call him for it, and it will be a great fight, man. Two good, two good, good fighters, uh, soon to be great. So yeah, let's see, let's see how I get on August 26, and then we'll go from there. I've got to ask you about Justin Bieber. Yes. Um, two people I did not think I'd ever see in the same photo, and uh, 
Is that Hamza? I was like, but just how did that come about? And uh, what's Justin Bieber like? It was the last session I had in the US, and then he just ran. He's known Ricky for a long time, and Ricky are good mates. And he called up and said, I want to come to the gym, I want to get a workout. He must have been feeling stressed or whatnot. Then I said, All right, cool, I'll wait. And then I'll say hello to him and whatnot. And then my younger cousin was sparring him. And my younger cousin don't know how to work with him. And he was just like trying to take lumps out of him. So I had to stop it there. I go, Listen, you get out. I go, Let me get in and, you know what I mean, move around with him. And that was it. He's got hands to be fair. He can, he can fight a bit. I was pleasantly surprised. But you know what it is, like they always say, when you, when you go in a boxing gym, whether you're a criminal, lawyer, barrister, celebrity, everyone's on the same level. I think that's what these celebrities like about it. Once you step into a gym, everyone's the same. And no, it was good, man. I, like I said, another, uh, just another day in LA, as they say, man. Another day in Hollywood. <laughs> another day in Hollywood. But yeah, who knows? Soon you might see me in fucking Hollywood, you know what I mean? <laughs> on, on the TV screens acting and whatnot. Well, we saw Eminem walk out Terence Crawford the other day, so could we see Justin Bieber for Hamza Shiraz? Who knows, bro? Who knows? If, if, I, if I see him again, I'll definitely, definitely ask him, man. Excellent. Just finally, what can we expect from you? Prediction, Saturday the 26th, massive night, probably the biggest of your career yeah. so far. What's happening, Hamza? Just a good, honest... Honest performance, man, to get in there, do my thing, get the win, and just bring it back for, for British boxing. And the Shiraz, thank you very much for being to IFL TV. Best of luck next week, mate. Thank you very much, appreciate thank you. you very much, mate. We do not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shot, shot up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. Win it, they're guilt win. Right, the bouncer's guilt win. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 